Welcome to Mary's Travel Blog, and today I'm at the Illinois State Capitol in Springfield, Illinois. Come along with me and we'll see what they have today. Tours here are usually right at 20 minutes, so we're going to go very quickly. We're going to start here in the House of Representatives chamber, which is what we're looking down into. I'll describe not only what goes on here, but also some features of the room. Then we'll move down to the third floor, which is probably the best obstructed view of the interior dome. There's some large paintings I think you're going to want to see down there in just hand descriptions. Then we'll move to the second floor, which has the reception area for our governor. We'll walk through the Hall of Governors and end up in the old Illinois Supreme Court chamber, which is actually one of my favorite rooms. Hope you agree with it when you see it. Now, what we're looking down into is the Illinois House of Representatives. It's part of the General Assembly. The other portion is the Senate. Both of the, the, the chambers process the same legislation identically. They're both re uh, restored back to the look of the late 1800s. And, uh, but unfortunately the Senate is on, I can't take you over there. It's actually part of, it's been barricaded to us because of the restoration and renovation that's going on over there. I'll describe more about it in a moment. Now the Illinois House of Representatives, what we are looking into, has 118 members that serve Illinois here. Of the 118, uh, seven eight of them are Democrat. Yes, red votes no, and yellow votes present. That white button in the upper left hand corner on that voting box will uh, turn their microphone on and it also alerts the speaker they'd like to be recognized. And off to the right is a blue button in case they need to have a question or need assistance from one of the pages. Now, once they've voted, it's transmitted up to the roster boards, those little big black boards there with the names on it. And the color they chose their desk shows up next to their name. And of course, that means we can all see not only who voted for it, how it voted, when the bill was actually passed or not. Hi right, guys, we just started, so. But it also has the image of the person who had been recognized to speak at the very top of that screen. Okay. Now, all the legislators have laptop computers so they can review the language of the bills before they vote. The voting starts here in January. They're usually here each week to the month of May. They just off for a couple of weeks because of the Easter period, but they will be back next week, and then they'll come back in the fall as well for a couple of weeks, which we'll generally referred to as the veto session. Okay. Now, the room here, the ceilings here, are hand-sculpted plaster cast moldings that have been painted, glazed, and then finished in 24 karat gold. The circular light is made of 8,000 pieces of stained glass in 29 colors. The chandeliers are 17 and a half feet tall. They weigh some 150 pounds apiece, and they're loaded with European crystal prisms. Now, the marble that we're looking at is actually the building today is most of the United States. I remember there's Italian and Swiss marble here in some quantity. Most of it is in the designs that are in the floors in our hallways and around the rotunda. The wood you're looking at here on the desks are mahogany, and they're generally trimmed with walnut burl. Even the carpet here is actually pretty unique. We've got a carpet from the name of 150 years old. The carpet the original carpet. But that carpet, though, like the original, can only be milk carpet in 27 inches. Strips. So if you look now, you can start to find the seams every 27 inches of this carpet you're standing on because all this carpet is back to strips and have to be hand set together to be our floor carpet. One nice thing to know back about this room, this was also used in movie set several years ago. This room had come to the movie Bigly Blonde 2 because this room looks very similar to this house of representatives in Washington, D.C. <laughs> now the Senate is only half this size. There's 59 senators. Of the 59, 40 of them are Democrat, the Senate the left, and 19 Republicans set off to the right. The two voters in the Senate has the upper committee presided over by the President, Senate Donald Harlan, and everything else is pretty much the same. Servers are proceeding, the clerical teams, the President, the people sitting in front of us. Do you think about the Illinois Senate this afternoon? Well, I'm the Andrews political career, and he was like the President of the Illinois State Senate. Now, the legislators 
which for the most part hands are off still across the street in Stratton building. There's a tunnel that connects the two buildings together so that they can pass between the buildings conveniently and of course also avoid inclement weather. chamber once upon a time it was called the Supreme Court of Illinois and this is a elaborate room and I just love all the artwork here and more work than I can ever find. Here's the building's life. So the third floor was the legislative branch of government, this floor was the executive branch of government, and this room was the judicial branch of government. But eventually the Supreme Court ran out of room here and so a new building was built for them right across the street. 1908 when that building became available they moved there and this room got repurposed it's now used by the Illinois Senate as a legislative hearing room in fact it's the largest of the three hearing rooms that the senators have access to the senators sit there on the seats that face us and they take comments from the general public and special interest groups here at that center table with the idea that they're going to be able to reduce the amount of debate time that's required for that bill before it comes up in its final vote you'll understand how that works yeah okay so the room, though, has got a lot of throwbacks to the days of the Supreme Court still here, including Lady Justice up here in the center of her ceiling. Now, she's got, she's got her sword drawn right around her justice, all that up here before her in the court. But look at her bare foot. Her foot is on top of those gold coins that are pouring out of that cornucopia. And with her bare foot, she's showing no respect for the gold the coins and their value by trampling on them. The symbolism of that painting is the true ideal that justice should not be bought. And we still have the word justice also in 24 karat gold in our wall still right here. Okay, so that's gonna do it for me for today. I want to thank you.
Green right above us here. So that's the next one. And right underneath the dome, the statue right here. George Washington. Stephen Douglas. And this room is called the Rotunda, and it's taller than the one in Washington, D.C. And over here is what they call in Illinois the Hall of Governors. something called Abe's Hat Hunt. Mm -hmm. Old entertainment room. Oh, the music room. Organ, banjo. The general store. Places of plenty. Oh yeah, the old like fifties dinette set. Oh, a little fondue set. Of excellence. stereo system with a record player on top. Now kids, that is a boombox and tape recorder before the days of cell phones. TV and the old VCR beta. The old tape recorders. Payphone. Back in the 70s. E-Man, Holly Hobby, Clifford, Strawberry Shortcake, Wilson, Care Bears, Cabbage Patch Kids, Barbies. Yeah, if you grew up in the 80s, you probably might know what some of this stuff is. And Teddy Ruxpin's over here. Stays. TV and type. Quilt. 
this dress preserves the memory of the family love for a small group of women that have long ago. Little girl met love. Um, well, in the county, on the same year old, she came to the so we're on the frontier. Deer. Man and horse. I'm having a light being in the cave here. And some elk. A bear. Mama and baby. Mama and her baby. And here's nature. Canoeing. Holy mammoth. The old telephone. Victoria. Musical Magic Del Victoria. Yeah, I do remember a room like this. What tunnel this is. And it's getting chilly. Buffalo. Ha, ha, I like looking at buffalo here. I'm going through a cave right now. Find clues. <laughs> wow. That still looks like a shark up there. So, I guess we'll have to rush through it. Well, it's the skunk, the beaver. Museum of Illinois on Mary's travel blog. And I finally have found it. <laughs> flight in Pennsylvania. The flight. And over here is September 11th. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And across the way, I can see the firefighters moving.